Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I'll be helping you pinpoint which graphic settings are affecting your performance the most, hopefully resulting in smoother, better gaming experience. Starting off with the game settings that affect performance the most. Modern games come with a whole magnitude of settings that can be tweaked to make individual aspects of the game's graphics change. So let's talk through some of the more technical settings and how they increase the demand on your system's hardware. First setting to take a look at would be resolution. One of the most performance damaging settings, simply changing it from 720p to 900p can have a positive substantial effect on your FPS output. The resolution refers to how many physical pixels are being outputted to the monitor at any one time. For the best results you want to match the game's resolution to your monitor's native resolution. However, depending on the overall demand of the game versus your PC's performance levels, it isn't always possible to match the resolutions up. Next, we have anti-aliasing, a graphic filter that smooths out rough edges within your game's graphics. Cranking up the anti-aliasing in-game can make things look much smoother, however performance can pay the price. The different levels of performance sapping of anti-aliasing are First you have FXAA, Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing. This is the least harmful to performance levels. It affects your GPU's performance slightly but not too noticeable. Next we have MSAA, Multi-Sampling Anti-Aliasing, which is less system intensive than other versions. Instead of applying itself to the entire frame, MSAA only performs on the jagged part parts of the frame, but does put signs of strain on your GPU. Then there is Physics X. This is NVIDIA's physics rendering setting that can be applied to a small part of the game frame, adding a level of detail and realism that isn't found on other AA alternatives. If you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, then this can be extremely taxing on your PC. It can also affect your CPU quite dramatically as well. Turning this off can be an easy way to gain extra frames. Next is super sampling, sometimes seen in anti-aliasing brackets. It can be a setting of its own in some games. It renders the game to be a resolution that is above the native resolution of your monitor. So you could super sample a 4K resolution onto a 1080p monitor. This feature can be extremely taxing on your system's hardware. So this would be one of the settings I'd switch off if I was trying to gain FPS. Now we have volumetric light, which adds lighting effects to a rendered scene. So beams of light can be rendered through a three-dimensional medium such as steam, fog, dust or smoke. Switching it off will see a decent rise in FPS, however for immersion and realism i try to keep it on. On to shadows, another system taxing rendering effect. A large chunk of modern titles do offer shadow detailing in their settings. Turning them on can make scenes look much more realistic and will have a big effect on performance. Next up, lighting, another impactful setting on performance levels. Changing the light setting through various options adds and removes certain elements of the game's graphics. So when set to ultra settings, the game may show light being emitted from the moon. However, the medium in this rendering feature is completely taken away. Global illumination is another feature that affects how accurately light bounces around virtual worlds. But use can see large drops of FPS if it is cranked right the way up. Next is ambient occlusion. This is a form of shading and rendering that calculates how individual surfaces are affected by ambient light in some scenes. The end product is a non-directional shading effect that dims scenes without casting any clear shadows. This effect is fairly subtle, but it can have large impacts on your system's performance. We would recommend dialing this down if you are struggling for FPS. 
finally, we have draw distance. Increasing the draw distance of your game increases the complexity of distant objects, giving them more accuracy and realism. This does take a real toll on your system, especially when cranked up to its max level. I would prioritize draw distance after resolution settings. Make sure you find a happy middle ground between the immersion and FPS performance. So guys, there you have it, our comprehensive rundown of some of the most demanding graphic settings and how they affect your game. Despite only choosing a few graphical settings, these are the most demanding in terms of your system's performance. If you'd like more information, please read our WePC article on this video. Click on the tag above or the link down below. Thank you for watching. Please leave us a comment down below on which of these settings helped you the most. Also give us a like and a subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're down there. And if you look over here, there'll be a video that we know you're going to enjoy. Thanks again.